Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. Last week was all about ball pythons, the winner of the Snake Bites death match. But because boas had such a strong showing, this week is all about boas. You're watching Snake Bites. Although ball pythons are the most popular snake in the pet trade, boa constrictors have actually remained a perennial favorite for many decades. You guys may not know this, but my second snake ever was a boa constrictor. It was a male that I named King, and he lived for 18 years and was just such an incredible animal. So let's go ahead and look at why boas have been so popular for so long. One of the cool things about boa constrictors is once you've gotten comfortable handling smaller snakes like ball pythons or corn snakes and you're ready for that next size snake but you're not quite comfortable enough to go with a Burmese python or a reticulated python, a boa constrictor is the perfect size animal. As you can see, they get really big. Some Colombians can get up to 10 foot, but they're not so big that one person can't handle them. They're kind of the perfect size when you're talking about a big snake but not a giant. Last week we talked all about ball pythons and we asked you your favorite ball python more. Now we're talking about boas, so we want to know your favorite boa more. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. Another cool attribute that boa constrictors bring to the table is their ability to be handled. They're just a really inquisitive animal. They don't move too fast, but they do move around. One of the things that I get complaints about with ball pythons is that they just kind of sit there and they don't move a lot. As a matter of fact, a good friend of mine just told me recently that he has about 30 adult ball pythons, but yet every time he wants to pull a snake out and just watch TV, it's always his boa constrictor. They're an awesome animal, and again, one person can easily handle them, but but as you can see, they just kind of move around and they're just a really cool animal. Another advantage that boa constrictors have over some other snakes like ball pythons is that they almost always eat frozen thawed rodents. Now there's a few advantages to feeding frozen thawed. First, it's easy to keep in your freezer and just really convenient. It's typically cheaper than live. And lastly, it's certainly a lot safer for the snake. We don't want your snakes getting bit by live food, do we? And as you can see, these guys just eat really easily. One of the things a lot of people like about boa constrictors is the fact that they have live young. That's right, you don't have to deal with eggs. You just put them together, you breed them, and you wake up one morning and there's a whole litter of baby snakes. And that goes for all boas, not just boa constrictors, but tree boas and Brazilian rainbows. The last thing that I love about boa constrictors is that they still have a ton of cool paint jobs. Let me show you a few of them, starting with this sun glow boa. So there's a bunch of really cool boa morphs, and although we spent the majority of the time talking about boa constrictors, when we were voting on the death match, we actually said all boas. So I at least have to show you a handful of other boas, including this really cool Amazon tree boa. And of course, these Brazilian rainbows, in my opinion, one of the coolest and most cryptic pattern non-venomous snakes, especially in the boa family. 
There's also sandboas that we work with, things like Kenyan sandboas or these sunset Indians that are just so beautiful. They're pretty neat because they're a smaller boa, but again, all boas have live young, so it's pretty cool. With Kenyans, they'll have up to 30 babies. These Indian sandboas, believe it or not, are born this size and will typically only have about six babies per litter. In the end, you guys voted Boa as the second coolest snake in the pet trade, and I couldn't agree with you more. There's so much variety and such cool animals, so if you're thinking about taking that next step to the next coolest big snake, Boa constrictors are something you're going to have to pay attention to. Hey, have you guys seen Hollywood Hen Dog anywhere? I haven't seen him all week. No, he's in his office on Facebook and YouTube talking to all his fans. He's Hollywood. I know this place better than he does. I don't think he knows anything. Don't know anything, huh? You guys willing to put it to the challenge? I know more about this collection than any of you guys. I tell you what, you guys pick any animal in the entire collection and I will tell you exactly what cage and rack it's in. But, if you guys lose, you're gonna face the consequence, okay? You win, I'll give you a full paid day off. You lose, every one of you guys are gonna have something done to you. Josh, you're always talking about how bad it hurt when you were in ninth grade, got kicked in the nuts. You're getting kicked in the nuts. Chewy, you hate the black blood pythons, you're handling them. George, you're always walking around half naked. You're getting in the gorilla suit in a sweatshirt and you're washing boxes. Sam, you're always talking about how you hate to be all frilly. Well, guess what? You're wearing George's little red riding hood. Ah, no! 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 Oh, no! I don't want to wear a dress. You guys up for that challenge? Yeah, yeah. we can do this. I'm in. Well, you better make it good. That loser has no chance of guessing this one. This is good. Normal. The badass stripe on his back. He'll never get it because he's a loser. All right, you guys. What do you got for me? Where is a cool normal ball python with the gold stripe? Second row, third rack, bottom left. Okay, let's go. Get your gorilla suit. Bullsh Oh, look at Monkey Boy. It's <laughs> <laughs> backwards. Yeah, it's backwards. All right, get that thing on and get over there and wash those tubs. Come on, Georgie. Suck it, Sammy. Oh my God, it's so hot in this place. How the do you guys do this every day? Look at all these babies. I'm gonna have Hollywood Hen Dog, the man, Try to pick the corn snake with the heart on his head. I won't have to handle that stupid ass black blood because he'll never get this one. All right, what do you got? Okay, can you find a baby corn with a cute little heart on its head that's in the baby section? Second aisle, fourth row, 14th down. <laughs> Off to the black blood. All right, Chewie, you ready? George, open the drawer. I want to do this one. Come on, Hollywood. Pick something else. Black Green blood. tree. Black, Black red. blood. Friendly. Oh, you f***ing <laughs> asshole! <laughs> you scared, Chewie? Yeah. F*** off. <laughs> Come on! <sighs> Mother. All right, this will be perfect. It's a spider ball python, and it has a perfect smiley face on the back of its head. He'll never get it. All right, Brian. Spider ball python with a smiley face on the back of its head. Fourth aisle, fourth rack, in the middle. Is it second or first? Got it! Oh, he was gonna get it anyway. Sam! <laughs> Ugh, I hate you! <laughs> I think I found a pretty good one that's gonna trick Brian. This Pueblin here, she has 25 white bands on her, whereas a lot of these other ones only have 20 or 22. So I really don't think he's gonna get this one. I ain't wearing no dress. Hey guys. Okay, Brian, where is the Pueblin, the female Pueblin, with 25 white bands? Well, most may have 20 or 21, the 25 second row G6. No, no! George, get your dress. Yes! 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 Oh, oh this is yeah! Look at this! You all, okay? Ah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Let's see the hood. Oh. Come bend over, Come bend on. over. Come to Dad. Nice. Uh. <laughs> Here's the big bad one. Oh, <laughs> 
you guys. All right, guys, I kind of feel bad that I crushed you on these challenges. I'm gonna give you one last shot. Collectively as a group, you get 10 seconds to come up with an animal that you can stump me at for a day off. Go ahead. All right, Brian. Where is the perfectly striped Brettles carpet python? Okay, it's the third row, second rack, third cage, fifth cage. Nah, it's the third. Yes. 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 Yeah, day off. Hey. Later. For this week's comment of the week, the question was, what weird combos do you like? In the JCure 1206 said, How about Krispy Kreme donuts with melted cheese? My ex did it all the time. I always thought it was gross. Then I went to North Carolina with her, and one morning the whole family was eating them. I couldn't say no with her dad and uncle giving me the stink eye, so I tried it. They were actually really good. You have to try it at least once. Krispy Kreme donut, one slice of American cheese, and a microwave for five to 10 seconds. Good eats. Well, there's no way I'm gonna try Krispy Kremes and cheese. Just doesn't sound like something I ever wanna taste. I tell you what, you guys had me rolling this week with all your great comments. And because the show is all about boas, I wanna shout out the two cool boa forums, redtailboa.net and redtailboas.com. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites.